Okay, this is a digital motion x-ray image of a real patient who suffers chronic pain from an old whiplash injury. And her MRI came back as really not showing much but a little bit of degeneration in the mid part of her neck. So that didn't really explain all the symptoms that she's having and the chronic pain that she's having. So we did this motion study. So what we're going to show you <clears throat> is what it looks like when you look at the x-ray screen. When she's bending down like this, what we're looking for is for one bone to be sliding over top another or if they're fanning out in the back. If you can see on this image here, you can see there's a gap in here and this bone is slid forward here just a bit if you line these bones back up like this. So that's where she's having most of her problem and you can see the image in the motion here that that's where it flexes the most when she goes down a flexion. In extension it comes back to normal range. When she goes in a flexion it really opens up back there and that depicts that there's ligament damage in the posterior longitudinal ligament and the interspinous ligaments and in the further views that we have here, she also has capsular ligament, capsular ligament damage in the facet joints as well, which is a major pain generator. So what we can do with this, after we get done with the view, is that we printed a nice beautiful report like this, and we have a still pic of her in the flexion position with the measurements that we have here to how far this thing slid forward. And as you can see, it's 3.7 millimeters sliding forward on the C4 and the C5 vertebra here and that's called a permanent impairment under the AMA guidelines and this is what causes her chronic pain so now that we've identified the lesion in her neck now the doctors can appropriately direct the right treatment for her injury before it was kind of like a hit and miss now we know where the injury is and then we know what's going on with this patient here so not only can we put in a nice colored report like this for their physicians we can even put all this information on your phone with this new system that we have and so it's great for her because she found the reason for her chronic pain. It's great for her doctors because they now have a diagnosis, an accurate diagnosis they can direct their treatment to. And it's also great for her attorney who now has objective evidence in her case that she has this permanent impairment going on in the neck with a whiplash injury that the MRI did not pick up.